1929, the king of Iraq, he says that I had a dream. I had a dream with the two companions of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, they have come to me. And they said to me that the water from the river Tigris is seeping through our graves. Help us. The king of the time. He says, I dug a place up between the grave and the river Tigris to ascertain the truth. And what happened? He goes, there was no sign of water. He says, so I dismissed the dream. He, go, he goes here, here again. He had the same dream over and over and over again. The same dream that the two companions of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam are saying that take us out. Take us, save us. The water from the river Tigris is seeping through our graves. He says, so at that time, I took mashwara with the people of Iraq, especially with the ulama. He says, so I gathered all of them. He says, I informed them about the story, about the dream I had. He says, when I informed them about the dream, he says, one of the scholars of that time, he got up and he said, that I also had the same dream. So he says, that it was agreed upon that the graves of these two companions will be dug up. He says a date was fixed. The date was fixed on a certain day that the graves of these two companions will be dug up. And if the water is seeping through, relocate them to a different place. He says that at that time it was close to the season of Hajj. So the Hujjaj of that time when the news reached Mecca and Medina, he says at that time, he says these people requested us that delay it for a while. Because we want to attend as well. So after when he was delayed, he says the date came when we dug up the two graves. He goes, we dug up the two graves. 13 centuries. For 13 centuries they were in their grave. He says, when we looked at their body, they were completely intact without a scratch. And this has happened only in 1929. And says, we took the bodies out and we moved them next to Salman al-Farsi, next to his grave, a hole was dug. An eye specialist at that time, a non-Muslim of that time, he says, witnessing this, he says, I looked inside the two companions' eyes. And he was an eye specialist. He says, the glow that normally disappears within months of a person's death, this glow is still inside these two companions. The glow is still inside these two companions. And what was flowing on his lips a couple of seconds after? Ashhadu la ilaha illallah wa ashhadu anna Muhammad Rasulullah. He accepted Islam. And many people who were there at that time accepted Islam. And the bodies were moved. And this narration that could be found in Janit Dida, page number 55, 58. And in Cyclopedia, if you just type in the name Abdullah ibn Jabir, you will see that this article will also be present there. And a person who lives a life of obedience, indeed Allah will honor him. Because Islam is not about gangsterness. No, it's about people going around, gunning people down. 
It's not about drug dealing. It's not about you thinking you're it. Islam is complete. Every single thing in the Quran, the Muslims shouldn't deny anything and they should accept it blindly. Why? Because this is the book that shook the world. And I pray to the Almighty Allah, that Allah makes us from amongst those people who Allah honors. And Allah save us from the punishment of the grave. ولا تحسبن الذين قتلوا في سبيل الله أمواتا ولا تحسبن الذين قتلوا في سبيل الله أمواتا بل أحياء عند ربهم يرزقون